Ladies and gentlemen, in this RedGamingTech.com video, I, Crimson Rain, will be talking to you about accusations for former AMD employees who are accused of stealing secrets from their previous company and delivering them right into the laps of a NVIDIA. So, of course, if I was to say to you industrial espionage, the first thing you would immediately think of is James Bond-esque type of situations with people putting encrypted memory cards into the heel of their shoe, for example, and walking out and maybe having a gunfire fight. However, in reality, this does actually happen, and of course, the higher the person is in the company, especially, for example, if they're working at tech labs, that type of thing, they are basically a danger to your company that they could go to a rival and sell, well, secrets. And of course that's one of the things that NDAs are for, but you can't only legislate so much, and these accusations are fairly substantial. Bob Feldstein, for example, is a man who is very instrumental in AMD's role in placing next generation parts into the Xbox 7, uh, 720 and the PlayStation 4, as well as Nintendo's Wii U. In other words, the graphics processing devices, which of course have been vastly upgraded. The PlayStation 3, of course, previously had NVIDIA parts, while Xbox 360 and the Wii, much like the GameCube, had uh, AMD, or formerly ATI. But this man, Bob Felstein managed to negotiate deals with Microsoft and Sony and of course Nintendo to uh, make sure that AMD's hardware was the one that they actually went with the final design. Along with Bob, three other people were also um, well accused of doing such a crime and they are Manoon Desai, Richard Hagen and Nicholas Kitchikan. I'm hoping I've ha I pronounced his name correctly. Anyway, AMD has uncovered evidence that three of the four defendants transferred to exter external devices trade secrets and information in the days prior to leaving AMD to work for NVIDIA. And apparently, over 100,000 files were transferred. To continue the quote, the names I've identified and transferred files match identically or very closely to the names of files on the AMD systems that include obviously confidential proprietary and or trade secrets materials relating to developing and or highly confidential business strategies. And indeed, on Felstein's last day, he apparently connected two storage devices to his um, machine at AMD. To continue the quote, Onto these storage devices, three highly confidential files, which were two licensing agreements with significant customers and a document outlining proposed strategies to AMD's strategic licensing were transferred. Manu, meanwhile, also plugged in an external storage device to her machine before she left, or at least that's what's the um, is being told at the moment, and to continue the quote, a folder called Perforce, which is the name of AMD's internal database containing the confidential technological work and development of AMD's process and products, were, was created on the external drive with apparently 200 or so files copied, which were highly confidential, of course. All of this information from AMD to the video, of course, would, if true, give NVIDIA quite an edge on AMD because obviously if you know what your competition is not only planning in terms of their technology but also how they're going to implement it as well as various marketing strategies and so forth, well it gives you a leg up pretty much and AMD and NVIDIA going to war in such ways, it's not exactly new indeed, AMD for example has done the same thing with Intel. So. Industrial espionage in such scales is not exactly new to the PC or technology technology industry, should I say, if I can get the words out. Right now, of course, all of this is, well, unproven. The case is not been won from either side, so we'll have to stay on top of this one. But if it is true, well, it could mean very bad things in the video. Right now, AMD are trying to seek an injunction, at least a temporary one, and at the conclusion of the trial, a permanent injunction against the defendants. But obviously, right now, all of this is still up in the air. Now, I don't like to come down on either side because, well, I'm fans of both companies. So, regardless of which, it's going to be a very interesting outcome 
to say the least. Anyway, that just about does it for me. So take care of yourselves, bye for now, and leave your comments below on what your thoughts are.